dear friends of Love for Volleyball, Amor for el Volleyball. I'm pleased and honored to be um, uh, talking today with a volleyball player from Canada. She's part of the, um, the national team of, of Canada. Um, a few weeks ago, she won the, the, the bronze medal in Norseca Championship. And also she, she won the, 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 the prize of the best setter of this tournament. And I mean Brie King, who is currently speaking with me today. How are you, Brie? Hi, thank you so much for having me. I'm doing awesome. I'm in China right now. We have one more day of preparation before our Olympic qualifier. So I'm feeling excited and happy to be here. Fantastic. And um, first of all, Brie, um, um, please tell me why um, and, and when did, did you start playing volleyball? Because um, as I know, in Canada, volleyball is not, uh, maybe I'm wrong, it's not the most popular sport there. You have ice hockey, you have many more sports that are very popular in, in Canada. Why did you start or why, why did you choose volleyball as your sport? Yeah, volleyball is not the most popular sport, um, but I personally started to play because my, my family was playing. I have four older siblings, so I have a big family and my whole family played volleyball. Okay. My mom played volleyball in college and my two older sisters played in my whole life and they are 10 years older than me. So I got to watch them play as I was a little girl and really loved to first to watch volleyball. And then I started to try myself when I was little. And so because of my family, I, I was inspired to try to play myself. Fantastic. And, and, and how was it for you when you start playing volleyball? Did you like it in, in Uh, immediately um, was it hard for you to 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 learn to play volleyball because volleyball is very technical it's a very technically uh, sport how was it for you uh, at your beginning in the beginning i really loved the team aspect of the sport and getting to be with friends and learning to play together was really fun um i had I was lucky that I had lots of coaches around me in my community who were very good coaches and knew a lot about volleyball. So I felt like when I, when I was little, I learned the right technique from the start and this made it really fun. I really enjoyed to learn. And I think even when I was young, it felt kind of easy to me to learn. It felt like it came naturally. Um, and I think That's because I, I touched the ball so many times when I was really little, five years old, six years old, all my life in the gym. Um, so, yeah, I really enjoyed it right from the start. And I knew it was my favorite sport, even though I was playing other things. It was my favorite always. Do you have some, um, for example, do you have some um, um, older players or, or some idols um, as, as a young uh, volleyball player? Um, because uh, uh, what I'm telling you, because um, when I, I was young, a young player, I watched the Brazilian players, the Russian, the Argentinian players, and we wanted to play like them. I wanted to, for example, jump like like Sabin. I wanted to to defend like Kirily. Do you have some 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 volleyball player, female or may, maybe male, that 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 inspire you, or or, or or maybe not? Sometimes the players make their own own path in volleyball. Yeah, I definitely my older sister, she played Team Canada and she played professionally and she was 10 years older than me. So I got to watch her do this. And that really was my only idea of, of professional volleyball. I didn't really know the world of volleyball so much. I'm from a smaller town, so I didn't watch volleyball even in the USA. I didn't watch so much. I didn't know there was professional leagues that were so big and popular. I don't even remember watching volleyball in the Olympics that much. I I I I didn't know really anything. As I got older and in college and I started to think, "Oh, maybe I can keep playing." Then I really started to pay attention and lots of players were um like role models for me. I remember my first summer with the national team like maybe five or six years ago. I remember spending a lot of time studying Alicia Glass was the setter that I was like the most amazing to me in that moment. And she, I think, um, gave me a model for what kind of setter I wanted to be like. Um, so she probably is the person that I would say 
helped me develop kind of my style the best. Perfect, I understand. And, and the decision to play as a setter was um, something um, something that some coaches told you or, or, or it, it was a, a free decision of you to play as, as a setter? Again, my sister was a setter. Okay. And so I think yeah. just naturally they were like, let's try. And right away I felt like it came easy to me and I understood I, I had a good volleyball mind because I was watching so much as a kid. So I think it was just kind of a natural thing. Fantastic. It, it, it's so important have the, uh, what, what, what you're saying about to having to have a, 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 um, a good volleyball mind. It's very important to and, and absolutely I understand why you're a setter because setter is, is, the, is the engine of, of, of the team. Um, and please tell me, Bree, um, how was your, your evolution as a volleyball player? You played as a child, maybe in college, in, in, at school, then you played in college in Canada or in the United States. How, how, um, how was your evolution and your, your story as a young player? Yeah, I I grew up playing in high school and club volleyball in when I'm in grade school. Okay. And then I played in Canada, in my hometown school in Canada, um, that also happened to be one of the best volleyball programs in Canada at the time and still. Um, and that was in my, I grew up in Langley, British Columbia, and the college was also in Langley. So I okay. played for four years in university there. And then from there, I started my first summer with Team Canada and then have I'm about to start my fifth season professional so that was sort of my timeline fantastic and 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 how was it for you to to be um, uh, or to start being by part of the national team to to watch um, that volleyball is, is so so worldwide played that there, there's so many teams around the world how, how was it for you and and, and uh, as, as a person from as you told me from a small town and and, and to to watch that volleyball is so big today Yeah, it was really crazy for me. I, like I said, I grew up in the same city that I played in university and my, my idea of volleyball was very small in my mind. And even when I, my first summer playing for team Canada, I had the mentality, like kind, I know a lot about volleyball. And then for the first tournament, I remember going to Pan Am cup, in Peru it was my first tournament ever with Team Canada and I remember seeing all the other teams there and this was just a smaller tournament and I remember thinking wow all of these players are my age and all of them are so much better than me and they all know way more about volleyball than me and this was my first experience of thinking wow if I work hard and commit myself there's so much room to grow and to learn and my idea of volleyball just kind of exploded and this is when I started to pay attention to different professional leagues and the best national teams and the Olympics and wow there's a level of volleyball that's happening that is just so far beyond what I really imagined was possible um so I think playing for the national team really opened my mind to this and gave me the um, desire and the passion to learn and to to get better because in Canada it's kind of small and you don't you can't see the world of volleyball so well absolutely and in and, and you're a part of a, of a of a fantastic volleyball generation especially woman volleyball generation of Canada because um, as far I am that I know or maybe the world know um The, the, the male teams from Canada um, were more often um, participating in, in world championships and, and Olympics. But um, women volleyball of Canada, um, correct me if I'm wrong, were not so 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 part of this um, international um, circuits. So you're, you're part of, 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 fan, of a fantastic generation. How, how is it for you to be, again, part of this, this process and... and, and be able to 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 realize and watch that you are playing against the best teams in the world yet that you're winning that you are um, um, gaining a, a lot of medals how, how how is it for you be um, being part of this this uh, uh, process yeah i think 
you are exactly right. It's a very special moment for volleyball in Canada. Um, it's been a long time since our national team has been to an Olympic Games, for example. And it feels very possible with the group that we have right now. And I personally just feel really honored and like it feels really special to get to play with the girls that I'm playing with right now. And I think everybody can see that this is a special moment for our pro program because we have a lot of world-class players in our team right now. And that doesn't happen every generation for team Canada. So um, I think we all feel that and feel the excitement and the possibility like anything can happen. And we have shown that we can compete and, like you said, beat some of the best teams in the world. Yes. And when you win, you start to believe that you can win more. And it's one thing to have potential and it's another thing to actually execute and win games. And we've been doing that. So it feels like for a while it felt like, wow, we could be really good if we work hard. And now it feels like we are really good and we can, anything is possible and let's see what we can do. Um, I feel really lucky to get to play with the girls that we have on our team right now. It's just like such a talented group and really exciting to be in the gym with them every single day. It's, it's amazing to, to watch you play and your team. And, and, and tell me until now, um, Do you think um, um, Norseca was um, your your biggest uh, um, tournament with the, Can the team Canada, or, or, or maybe the BNL, or, or do you have some other tournament in mind that you remember um, as as uh, as preferred, or, or, or maybe you're writing your history? Um, ho hopefully, you, you you qualify for Olympics. What is your feeling about this? I think we have been on a really great journey. I, I remember two years ago sitting in a team meeting with our sports psychologist for our team and we sort of outlined what needs to happen for us to qualify and what's going to be the path. And we knew that, that we needed to do well at world championships. We knew that we needed to do well at VNL and mm -hmm. doing well for us means winning lots of games and yeah especially winning some games against teams that are ranked really high in the world. And it's not, we knew that it, we had to do things that weren't expected in order to qualify. And when I look back on our last two summers now, I'm so proud of what we've accomplished. And there's a few big moments. And I think for sure world championships last summer kind of set the trajectory for what's happening right now in our team. Um, just we, we beat some, monster teams and we also took care of business in all the games that kind of were 50 50 you could say and you could feel a shift in the team like we know what we can do and so let's go do it instead of this we hope yes. for a miracle that we Understood. happen to yes. get a lucky day Absolutely. that's not our mindset anymore and i think we really felt that shift this summer that when we approached vnl we wanted to make the finals and When we've been in North Sika, we wanted to medal. And even in this tournament right now, 100% our goal is to finish top two. And we know that we are completely capable. We don't need a miracle. We just need to show up and play like we can and anything can happen. So I think it's been a real building process the last couple of years. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mental power and, 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 and also... Um... Um, what do you think the, 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 is, is the, the secret or maybe not a secret or the, the tactics or, or, the, or the, the way of your, of your, of your, uh, of your game that makes Team Canada so, so, so good today and make you win against, against big teams? Um, for, because, um, we watch, for, for example, the Japanese players, they have a, a incredible defense. Um, the, 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 the team from, 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 from Thailand, also the Brazilian with the, the, I don't know, the, the fantastic block skills. I don't know. It, what, what, what do you think is, is yeah. your, your strength or, or your secret weapon or, or, or maybe your, your, or the mix of all of, all of this? What do, you, what do you think about this? Yeah. I think what makes our team special, a couple things. One is, We are incredibly gritty, I think, like mm -hmm. resilient. There's, we, we are such a tight group and we know 
that that's a, a big asset for us as a team. Um, it's been the same group of girls, relatively speaking, for many summers now. And so there's a, a real trust there. Um, and the second thing is, I think we have incredible attackers on our team. Um, we have so many people who can score, yes. especially in high ball situations, out of system situations. Okay. I think we are one of the best teams in the world at making points mm -hmm. in difficult situations. And this is why we can win games because we not necessarily, we don't have to be perfectly in system all the time the way Brazil or Japan is with their ball control. But we have so many people who can score in difficult situations that um, we can turn points really easily. So I think those are the two things that make us set apart, I guess, from other teams and really have been the reasons why we are winning against um, big teams. Absolutely. And, and, and Reen, tell me, please, um, um, uh, how was your, your experience Now I, I will change you to the professional part of, of volleyball. You played in, in, in Brazil, for example. How was this experience for you to be able to play in one of the biggest and best um, leagues of the world in Brazil with this incredible history in volleyball, male and female? How was it for you to, to be able to play over there and, and, and be part of the, one of the best teams in, in Brazil? It was amazing. Um I really loved it and so much that I'm going back. Um, and there's so much I could say. There's something about playing volleyball in Brazil that's just special because the country loves volleyball and they know the game and they love the game. And that's something I personally haven't experienced on a regular basis. Um, so that was really fun. And the energy was amazing. The fans are incredible. Um, and then specifically my club, I just feel so lucky to be there and to be a player in that gym that um, the coaches wanted to help. <laughs> like I, I knew that they believed in me and my teammates believed in me. And there's a real atmosphere of hard work and um, commitment and this attitude of let's see how good we can get when we work as hard as possible. And That's so special and something not something you find in every club all over the world. I've played in Europe for years and it was a really different feel in Brazil. And I something I personally really enjoyed because I love learning so much and growing my game. So it was an amazing experience. So yes, Brazil is, is, is amazing to play volleyball. I have the opportunity when I was young to play some uh, sometimes in, in Brazil and especially also that the weather is fantastic to play volleyball in Brazil it helps a lot in um, Chile where I oh, live yeah. it's sometimes very cold not so cold as Canada but, but sometimes more and more cold colder than, than Brazil Brazil is is a, is, a, is a country to play volleyball it's it's amazing and and, and how was yeah. it um, for you um, 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 coming from Canada a very uh, um, north and far country from South America, to be able to, to play in, in Brazil. Um, as, as you told me, where the, the, the crowds, the Torcida, is, is, is a crazy thing. Um, and, 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 and also the, 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 the level of the volleyball, especially the female, it's so high. How was it for you to, to be able to be play against the best players of the world? Yeah, it was really great. I think it's the only way to get better as a player is to play against players that are better than you and I really felt challenged in Brazil and like the expectation was very high which as a young player I I had to learn quickly how to um, be consistent especially I think in Brazil everybody's ball control is just so good that yes. I felt like I needed to be great all the time there was no time to have a off game or not take something too seriously. The level, all the teams were good and there was no easy days, no easy games. Um, and as a setter, I think especially it demanded a lot of my mind and I had to figure out how to lead a team that spoke a different language, which was also a challenge, but um, in a, t in a league where it was hard all the time and how can we be great, every day, day after day, after day, after day. And of course, not perfect, but our best as whatever our best was, how can we give that every day? And I think it challenged me and helped me to grow up as a player a lot.
Fantastic. And, and, and do you did you learn Portuguese or, or did you communicate with the, with your teammates in, in English? No, I did learn. I took okay. lessons for the first couple months and learned enough to communicate about volleyball. Um, okay. My communication about the rest of life is not so good, but <laughs> I, I learned enough. <laughs> Okay, and 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 tell me um, about your experience in Europe. How how was it for you? And 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 how do you do you do you um, um, come to play outside Canada? Was it um, via some some manager and um, some some coaches? What should you play? How was this the story to be able to play outside Canada? Um, yes, I had after my first year of Team Canada, I was planning to go and finish my last year playing in college okay. in Canada. And I had an opportunity, um, an agent, a random agent I didn't know contacted me saying that a team in Germany needed a setter. So I sort of last minute made the decision to go mm -hmm. and played in Dresden in Germany my first year. And it was a great experience. It was so, so different than what I had experienced my whole life in Canada. It's in Canada the stereotypes of everybody being really kind and gentle is very true. And that's what I experienced even in volleyball. It was very warm and understanding and not very hard. And when you go to Europe, it's completely different. And there's an expectation to perform all the time. And really you are an employee of a, of a, hey. of a company. So mm -hmm. this is how it felt. And I was, it was kind of shocking at first But then you figure out and you are forced to um, learn how to handle yourself and how to be professional, um, yeah. but also to make sure that you are respected as a player and a person. So it was so much learning and really fun to get to see volleyball in a different way. Like, okay, and in Germany, this is how they play volleyball and this is the level and what's expected. And then as the years have gone on, I think my idea of volleyball just keeps getting bigger and bigger um which is it it's a great way to learn and to grow up is to be thrown into different situations each season um yeah super and and but brazil has something uh, magical to to play volleyball there i know this it, it, it's it's fantastic to play. <laughs> yeah. it's amazing sure. i don't know They, they they're crazy about volleyball they're crazy about sport and and the people yeah. maybe are warmer I, I, I don't know um i i, I yeah. thought that that what you tell me about canada it, it, it's in the movies that you're so well um good people but but <laughs> if you tell me it's true i i believe you 100% and and tell me <laughs> and tell me please Brie, and and um now you're in china you're uh, um very close to begin the the, the, the Olympic qualifications um but but um before this before um uh, VNL before the the world championship um as a, as a as a little girl in Canada do you some some day have have uh, dreamt about this or, or maybe um you were a, a little girl playing with your sister with your siblings with your with your parents and and maybe um don't have it, have have this 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 life of um, being a, a professional volleyball player or 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 some or sometimes you you dreamt about this or maybe not I think as a little girl I remember watching the Olympic games for sure and thinking this is the best and I would love to be a part of that one day it didn't necessarily seem possible in my mind and I did, I had no idea of how that would happen <laughs> when I was little but I think as I was finishing college and my first summer with team Canada, I remember when I would wear the team Canada Jersey with our flag on the chest and thinking, could, can you imagine if we could build a team that would be at the quality that is necessary to go to an Olympic games? Wouldn't that be, how special would that be to be a part of? And I think we realized really quickly that we just, we had a lot of young players who had the attitude to work hard and see how good we can get and right in that moment I remember feeling like we could do this if we really give our best every day and I can say that that's totally happened and now it feels like it's right at our fingertips almost so for sure this has been a dream since I was little but mostly 
uh, more a real dream since I've been a part of the Canadian program, like you said, with this very special group of girls that is on our team right now. Yes, again, and, 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 and not thinking about the, the, the qualification, not thinking about the, the, the Olympics next year. Do you have some, 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 some plans for you, your career? I am, um, for example, I, I interviewed many players who, who um, in, in the last years of, of, of active players wanted to be, or to study to be a trainers, for example, um, Other t told me, no, they, they wanted to, to study a, another thing and, 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 and be far away from volleyball. Do you have, do you think sometimes about this or, 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 or maybe you are so focused right now in your volleyball career that this, or this future, this possible future is not in your mind right now? No, I definitely think about it. And I, I've always been a very, um balanced person i would say i love volleyball but i also really love life without volleyball too and there's lots of things in my life that i love and want to do when volleyball is over um i have a long list like there's so <laughs> yeah. many different things that sound exciting and enjoyable to me right now my focus is i love playing volleyball i feel like i was born to play volleyball and i'm going to do that as to the best of my abilities until I'm not enjoying it anymore. And when I'm done, then I I think it will be very easy for me to find something else that I really love because right now, even in life, there's lots of things I wish I could do more of that I can't because I'm committed to volleyball. So I have, I love, <laughs> I like this, the thought of being home and, and working and whatever it is, coaching or, Working lots of different jobs all sounds really fun to me. So right now I'm all in with volleyball. And when volleyball is over, I'm so excited to be all in on something else. Fantastic to hear you. Um, um, sometimes um, um, some players or maybe a lot of players forget that volleyball is a sport. And, and sport yes. must be must be happy, must, must be life, enjoyable, and not, not, not a, a sacrifice. And, and sometimes we, we, we have known that in some countries, volleyball is, is, is a, almost a, an, an obligation. So it's sadly yeah. to, to hear, but to hear you, it, it's so, it's so, it's so um, um, fantastic to, to, to know what's your opinion, what, what, what your thoughts about volleyball and, and, and I think it's, it's so fantastic to, to know this. And I wanted to ask you uh, now, Brie, please, um, um, What 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 was your feeling um, in in Orsega when you won the the bronze medal and you were selected and and, and honored as the best setter? What what, what was in your mind in, in this moment? Um, I think that tournament we definitely had the goal of getting a medal. For sure, we would have loved to be in the final in the gold medal game, and I think that was totally possible. We had a really good battle with Dominican Republic in our semifinal. So I'm glad that we finished the tournament and on a win and got the medal. Um, but I think there was a feeling like, oh, there's more. We have more to give. Awesome. And exactly. immediately we felt ready for this tournament now. Like, let's get back to work so that we're ready because we're going to have to play Dominican Republic again this week. That's the team we have to beat. Um, so I think the feeling was sort of like, we're happy that we got the bronze medal, but we still want more. Um, and specifically about the individual awards, I think, you know, volleyball is the, the farthest thing from an individual sport. So I always find with those awards, like there's no way that I can do my job as a setter well without the rest of my team doing a great job around me too. So it, it always feels for sure an honor to, to stand up there and with some of the girls on my team as well, winning other awards, but For me, it's like the last thing I care about is those individual awards because the goal is to qualify for the Olympics and that award doesn't mean anything for that. So I just want to be the absolute best setter I can be to help our team qualify because I know that that will have an impact. Awards or not, I really don't care. <laughs> Understand me absolutely, and 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 I want to ask you about about volleyball. Um, in, in my time, volleyball was a very different sport uh, as today. Very 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 different. Um, 
do, do you like volleyball today? The rules, the the the, the system of, of playing, um, um, the, the the system that use a, a libero to play, the 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 the, the point scores, the 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 coach beside the 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 the, the playing court. What do you think about volleyball today? Um, even you played volleyball in, in this in this era, not in my in my time. What do you think about volleyball yeah. today? W would you make some changes in the rules, or, or maybe not? What do you what's your opinion about volleyball in in these days? I, it's a great question. I don't. Again, my my idea of volleyball has really only developed since this era of volleyball. I. I don't even remember watching a volleyball game before when rules were different. So I don't have a lot of great thoughts on this, but I think one, one thing I'm really happy with is that the game is evolving. And as the athletes are getting stronger and more physical and um, more skilled, so is the game is going with it. And I think that's a important thing to just keep everything um, at the highest quality possible. And I, how to make it the best for the players, but also entertaining for the crowd as well. And I think FIVB is doing a really good job of making the game really appealing to watch from for people that don't know the game as well, because that's what we all want at the end of the day. Um, so yeah, I I I love this this game and and where it's at right now. And I don't nothing comes to mind right away of things that I would change. Fantastic, fantastic. Volleyball is, is so beautiful. I love volleyball also. I played volleyball uh, uh, when I was, I was young. Um, and, 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 and as you, as you're telling me right now, the, um, International Volleyball Federation with VNL and all the, the, the broadcasting of, of so many championships around the world is, is, uh, more easy to, to watch the game, more and more plays, more and more championships. It, it, it's fantastic. And also, also, I, I interviewed some month ago the Chilean national volleyball uh, trainer, a female volleyball trainer, and he told me that he likes this time because, for example, um, he, he, he could watch um, his players um, connected to, to social media, and social media, they are, they are watching players like you, like the Brazilian, the Canadian, the Serbian. So um, today it's more easy to, to watch your stars, to, to watch them play, to watch them eat, or to, to watch them talk about volleyball or about the feeling. So um, I think today we are living a fantastic time, a fantastic era of, of communication, technology, and volleyball. So um, it, it, it's amazing. It, it, it's so amazing that we are talking right now. You're in China. I'm in Chile here. Here's yeah. late at night uh, to, uh, in over China. It's, it's at mid, uh, midday, I think. And um, so uh, um, for me, it's it has so a, a big, such a big emotion to to be able to speak with you, to be able to to know you, um, to know your your feelings, your 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 thoughts about volleyball. And 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 I wanted to to ask you finally. Brie, um, about about uh, um, do you have some some because I I I, I was thinking about when I, I asked some other players about the teams they play against. Sometimes you you have a a, a team um, that you like to play against because you know how to block them, you know how to serve them, and and maybe you have you have some rivals that are so. Um, not easy to play because the the shout at you uh, over the net. Do you have some some teams that you like to play against, or maybe not? Do you have some teams that you you are um, um, you know it's gonna be so tough to play against, or, 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 or what what is your your thought about um, some teams or 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 or, or the the way of of playing? Um, yeah, I think. There's a lot. I think I like playing every team. Every game is fun for me. There's no team that I don't like playing. Um, I think we have a, I would say, a rivalry with Dominican Republic yes. just because we have to play them so much because they're in our zone. So my whole career, I, I don't, I can't even count how many times I've played Dominican Republic in my yes. career. It's so much. Every tournament we're in, it feels like. And We have a great relationship with the team, but always it's a very intense game and a huge battle. We play two very different styles of volleyball. And so it's it's really fun to problem solve how we can beat a team that's so physical and so dominant like them. And I think when we when we're about to play them, 
everybody is fired up and excited and we know it's going to be a good game. We've had so many five set matches against them. Um, and then I think another team that has become a team that we've enjoyed playing against in the last few years is Poland. Um, we've played them in a, a few major tournaments. And again, it feels like every time we play them, there's something big on the line. And usually it's a really long game back and forth. We play very similar volleyball to their team. Um, and it's always fun. It just feels like two very physical teams that are mostly playing out of system. Um, who can outpower the other team basically is what it comes down to. So the girls are super nice. And I, I, they're at a similar um, moment in their program that we are, we're kind of like both growing as fast as we can and trying to beat the, the top, top teams. So those are the two teams that come to mind that I get really excited about playing. Super, super. Um, both teams are fantastic. I, I have the opportunity to interview Niverka Martes, Marte, the setter from Republican uh, Dominican Republic, and fantastic yeah. person, fantastic player. And for me, it's also yeah. an honor. And I interviewed also the, the trainer from, from the, the Dominican Republic, the Brazilian Marquinhos Quick. Yeah. And, 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 and it, it's amazing for me to, to watch Um, to be able to watch this 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 different kind of, of volleyball types of volleyball schools because in my times they were more and more different the the different volleyball schools um they were uh, um there were not uh, so many mixed team that plays for example in Brazil they mixed the, the Japanese style with the Russian with I, I don't know today we can watch um, um many similarities between some teams so obviously some teams, As your team, as the Poland Polish team, or maybe the the Brazilian team have have some some things, um, in in their own way of playing. But but today, uh, female volleyball is getting so strong. It's getting so so much better. Um, I don't know. Ten years ago, we don't watch um, volleyball players, female volleyball players serving and and and, and jump j uh, making jump service. It was very, yeah. very, very uh, not often to watch them, them play like this, to block like they're blocking today. So it, it's amazing to watch uh, female volleyball today. And and as I told you before, outside camera and, and during this conversation, for me, it, it's a, such a, 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 a joy to to be able to to speak with people that make you're making history today. You're making volleyball history. And for me, it's so, so such an honor such a, 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 a happiness for me to to be able to do to do this because um i have many followers around the world not only in, in south america and in, in north america and in, in europe and russia i don't know um and for me to to spread volleyball to help spread volleyball outside uh, um the the, the the social media you know it's very important so i want to 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 thank you again Bri. And for your time, I know you're very busy. You're very focused. You're very concentrated. I don't want to that, that you you uh, lose this this focus. I want you to wish you many success and this qualification. Hopefully, you you qualify qualify for for um, Tokyo next year for Tokyo for Paris for next year. So um, it was amazing to know you. Um, and 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 I invite you to to um, if 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 it's pot possible. That you follow my 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 channels for me it, it would be a, a such a big honor. So many many thanks again, Brie, for your time and for your for your for telling me your your experience as a volleyball player. And I wish you many many luck and success uh, on, in the years to come. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. It's been so nice chatting, and I love that you're helping spread the love for volleyball. Fantastic. Many many thanks. Awesome. Of course.